Hey guys, you like canoeing? Well, I do. I'm ready to go on a trip in about two hours. I'm ready to put the canoe on the car, but I got a question for you guys. When you put your canoe on your car, do you use those foam blocks with that yellow slippery nylon cable? That's horrible. Don't do that anymore. You're not doing yourself any favor in terms of uh, driving on the highway as, as far as safety is concerned, and you're not doing your canoe any favors by using that system either. If you want to know what I'm talking about, join me. I'm going to talk about, uh, I'll actually show you how to put a canoe on a vehicle properly, safely, effectively, and easily. Hey everyone, it's Pete from KnifeUp.com. Almost ready to put this guy on the, the van. Um, just want to let you know, I've got a, a Winona. You can kind of read it upside down. Uh, there's a lot of great canoes out there. I've had super, super excellent success with the Winona. It's a 17 and a half foot Escape. It's Kevlar natural, uh, super, super light. It's 17 and a half feet and it's 35 pounds-ish. So really excellent deal. It is a higher end canoe. It's gonna cost you a bit more money uh, up front but um, I am absolutely thrilled with it and I wouldn't go for a cheaper canoe personally, but hey, you know, it depends on what you're looking for. I do a lot of wilderness tripping, so I'm carrying this thing on my shoulders all the time. So that's why I've got it. Uh, you can find out more about it. I've got a, uh, a link below to uh, Winona and uh, where you can uh, find just a couple different places where you can check it out and look at maybe buying it if you're interested. All right, just before we put this on, I got one more thing to tell you. All right, just before we get started uh, with putting the canoe actually on the van and tying it down, really, really important for you to know this. I've got a rack system here made by Yakima. It, it, there's different ones that you can get and, and that's fine, whatever you choose. Uh, Yakima is a higher end brand, but here's the thing. When you buy a higher end brand uh, rack system for your vehicle, they're gonna ask you exactly the make, the model, the year of your car, which at first makes you go, yeah, awesome, I'm gonna get this really cool custom, made, custom fit rack system, which is great, except what happens a year later or whatever when you get a different vehicle. Now you're stuck with a rack system that costs hundreds of dollars and it's virtually useless, or so you think. So I had nothing to lose when I, when I changed my vehicle from an Acura SUV to a Dodge minivan. I, I was kind of ticked off and I'm like, well, now I gotta get a whole new system. But I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. Let's try the old Yakima and guess what? It fits beautifully. There's so many adjustments on the Yakima racks in terms of width and uh, how it connects to the, the edge of, of this kind of area along the van. It's perfect. So that's kind of an important thing to know. I'm thrilled to be able to use those and I think that in many cases, if you've got a, a Yakima, you, you'll be able to do the same thing with a number of, of different vehicles, right? So let's put this thing on. All right, here we go. Now, just so you guys know, I have not only a Yakima rack system here, but I have these little things, you can hardly see them from, I guess, the camera's perspective, but they're, they're little um, uh, sort of guides that hold the canoe uh, from going side to side. You can kind of see them up here, hopefully I don't know if the camera can see them. Um, and there's four of them, one on each side, the front and the back. Those are absolutely crucial. You need these things. If you don't have those, believe me, I've done this, you can tie that canoe down as tight as you want with any system you want. And when you get a serious headwind, it's gonna be flopping back and forth. And, and you think you can stop it, but I'm telling you, <laughs> I have strapped that down so tight that when I pull over on the side of the road thinking the canoe is loose, I try my best with my finger to pull a bit and it's it's tied down so solidly I feel like it's gonna crack the canoe in half. It can't get any tighter and yet with a strong wind it'll still, the front of the canoe will flop back and forth like that. The easiest way to stop that is just these thingy ma hickeys you just saw. There's a name for them. I don't know what they are. They usually come with the rack system. Alright, so I'm gonna set it up so that they fit nice and perfectly within this within those guides.
and then I'm gonna strap it right down, all right? All right, so just getting ready to tie the canoe onto the van, I'm not using a yellow slippery nylon rope, all right? Those are great for waterproofness, but that's it. They're horrible for tying things on. They, they don't hold a knot very well, and you could probably make them work. You probably can, you know, email me and say, oh, I use them all the time, and that's great, but it's, it's not as good as a better system which is safer and easier, and that is this. This is a flat nylon, uh, uh, a strap that is meant specifically only for tying canoes to a vehicle. And it's got a clasp here. Very, very simple. You just slide one end of this in. Look, you pull it through as much as you want and then you let go of your thumb. And then look, it is not gonna let go. All right, so instead of fumbling with a knot, which may or may not be as tight as you want it, this is super simple. It's way tighter, and it takes about three seconds, maybe two, uh, to, to tie. Much faster than any knot. And then to release it, you just press down on the lever with your thumb, and ta-da! Works really well, all right? So, let's do it. All right. So all I'm gonna do is just chuck this thing over. And then I'm gonna do the same right here. This is the front part, a little bit more awkward. All right, now I'm just gonna do the other, I'm gonna just uh, bring the other side around the rack and then I'll be right back here. All right, so this is the rope I just threw over and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put, well here, where's the end? Here's the end, I'm just gonna put it under the, the, the pipe on the rack, just on the other side of my canoe guide, which we talked about earlier, all right? That's all I'm doing. One time around and then I throw it back. Okay, really, really simple. And all we do is that times two. It's the simplest thing in the world. There's no knots involved. And again, it takes like five or 10 seconds. All right, so I've just thrown the rope over one side and back. It's taken about 30 seconds aside. So here's the rope now. I've got it underneath my, my uh, um, pipe on the rack. And here's that clasp. And all you do is you put it through and then pull it through with your fingers. And this uh, clasp has a rubber sort of shield on it, which is meant to sit against the side of your boat and it, uh, so it doesn't damage it. And then all you do is pull down on this. There you go. I can't even move that now. And I haven't even really set it up very well. You're over there. Okay, I see you. All right, so let's do this side real quick here. And same thing, here's the clasp, there's the... And uh, there's a bit of a twist there. I'll fix that in a second. But anyway, you just kind of pull on that. This one's, this one's actually backwards, I'm pulling it up. Doesn't really matter. Um, you can, I'll just get up here in a second and yank it and pull it really tight. Either way, works really fine. Uh, works works just as well. So that's basically how to tie down the center of the canoe. You don't. Most people, when I see canoes on the highway, that's all they do. They do a a, a pretty good tie times two in the center part of the canoe, and that's it. I don't really like that. I I like to do it a little bit more securely. And I'll just show you real quick in a second how we do the front and back. All right, so. Here at the back of my canoe, what I have is two more, or one strap, and this strap is also made specifically for strapping a canoe down to a vehicle. And what it is, is it's two uh, adjustable straps, and they both come together at a hook like this, here at the top, okay? So there's two, two straps coming together to one hook. And so all you really do is you take this hook and you put it on, um, Anywhere on the back of the canoe that you can, every canoe is different. I have a, a hand grip on the Winona. Uh, it's like a little mini thwart that goes across and made of aluminum, so it just hooks on really nicely. Now here's the thing. 
This is a Dodge Grand Caravan. I don't know about every single one, but I know that this one, it has a very difficult time, or I have a very difficult time finding a place to hook those two, uh, two ends underneath the back. It's the same as this, it's a metal hook. Uh, if you can, it'd be good to spread these out like this. All right, so it's like a, it's like a, a V shape kind of thing, all right? That's ideal, but the problem is I don't have that ability on the back of my vehicle. Everything underneath here is plastic. So I just found a piece of metal with a kind of a hole in it and it seems pretty sturdy, So, but it's the same thing. So it's gonna go down straight, more or less, all right? And the same kind of thing in the front. It's hard to find a place. So the caravan is not the best vehicle to put a canoe on from that perspective, but otherwise it's all right. So anyways, once you find a place, all you do is pull these just like, just like the, the other straps on top. You pull them and guess what? They're super tight. So that one's really twisted. Anyway, you just kind of go like that and you can already feel the whole canoe coming down. And these straps, you can either cut them, uh, you know, customize the length if you know you're gonna use it on this canoe all the time, uh, or um, you can sort of tape them on or, or use a rubber band or something like that, okay? So that's this. And basically guys, the front is almost identical. All right, so I was able to find a place to uh, connect these straps underneath the bumper of the Dodge Grand Caravan. It's not an easy job, trust me. There's not much down there. There's a little bit of steel and there's a whole lot of plastic. So it's not ideal, but it did work and it will work for yours, I'm sure. So same type of thing as in the back. I've got a metal hook here. Hooks on to the, uh, the carry handle on the canoe. And then I just take these two straps, give them a good yank and can't even move that. That, folks, is the right way to attach your canoe to your vehicle. Throw away the yellow rope and the spongy white things. If you really like that system and you have really good success that way, fine. <laughs> Leave me a message below. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, I've been using this for 10 years and here's the secret. There's no downside to it. There really isn't. The, the, the cables aren't worn out. They don't fray right where the uh, clasps grab them. It's perfect as far as I'm concerned, and it's made only for this purpose. You can do other things with it, but I keep mine just for my canoe, all the cables. All right, uh, if you guys appreciate stuff like this, um, informational videos, we're gonna be doing these more and more, uh, I don't know how many a year, but a whole lot. And uh, we appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, if you wanna be nice to us, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave your comments below, subscribe. We love to hear from you. And we look forward to bringing you more and more videos about all things camping and of course, all things knives. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next time.